All right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would share my story time of how I cut my forehead open in gym class. Before I get into the video, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. I know where most of y'all live, so don't try me, okay? Also, I look like a wet dog. I just showered, as you can very well see, so. But guess what, curls on poppin'. Curls on freak. All right, without further ado, let's get on with the story. So, this happened in eighth grade, I think. Eighth grade. If any of you guys went to my middle school, you, you remember this experience firsthand, so lucky you. Yeah, so we were in middle school and we had gym class and we had a very annoying little bitch ass gym teacher. Nobody liked him. I'm not gonna say his name because he's a bitch, but. So basically, what had happened was, I don't know what that game is called, but you have, you split up into two teams, right? One side is like one through 10, the other side is like one through 10. If you call your number, if your number gets called, you have to run, like let's say it's two. Number two from each side has to run to the middle, get the, the cone or something and run back to their side safely. All right, all right. I was number two, right? I was number two. I was numero, numero dos, numero dos, numero dos. And this girl, I think it was Valentina, I'm not sure. But I remember I was number two and then she's like, oh, switch with me. And I was like, okay. I'm not an athletic person and I didn't want to be the second one to embarrass myself. No, that just was not, that's not how I roll. I switched with her, no big deal. Thought it wasn't a big deal, whatever, whatever. You'll see why this is important in a minute. So now I was number three. Number three, okay, chilling, cool. Teacher starts calling out the numbers. One goes, gets the cone, runs back to his place, cool. Second does the same. They call three. Number three, my time to shine. Literally, I felt like I was in an action movie. Literal tunnel vision of the cone. And I was like, I'm horrible at sports. Everyone in this class knows that I suck at sports. So if I can go and get the cone and come back and win it for my team, people will like me. <laughs> I'm ready. Literally, I ha I don't think I've ever sprint so fast in my life, guys, for real. Like, first, when you sprint, you start off slow, right? No, I darted. Guys, I darted. Like, you know, I was out. I swear to God, if I didn't get that freaking cone, I was, like, I had to get that cone. Like, there, nothing else was important. Fuck everything else, fuck everybody else. That cone was for me. When I'm determined to do something, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Whether I have to knock everybody out of the way, and I'm big, so I'm gonna knock everyone out the way. <sighs> I'm running, right? This feels like long as hell because it's in the middle of the gym. The gym is kind of big, so I have to run. I don't run. Me and this girl, this poor girl. Her name was Nara. Shout out to you, Nara, if you're watching this video. Um, I apologize still. Running towards the middle, right? This is us running. We're running. I'm running for some reason, for some damn reason, I am running with my head down. Why, why, who runs like that? Who runs like this? Bitch, pick your head up. Like, why are you fucking running? Why are you running? Why, why are, are you running? running? Why, are you, why are you running? Why are you running with your head down? Why? She was running like a smart girl with her head up because when you look up, you know what the hell is in front of you. Did you know that? Did you know that? Cause I clearly didn't fucking know that. Running like this, she's running like this. We meet, we go. Literally, my head was like this. I literally head butted the shit out of the poor girl. Like I hit her good guys. I hit her real good. She hit me with her front teeth on my forehead. Guys, the noise that our, my skull made meeting her fucking front teeth. <gasps> I still hear it in my sleep. Like, literally hear my freaking skull bang on her teeth, guys. Graphic, I'm sorry. Click away if you don't like graphic. Click away if you know I'm talking about blood or anything cause it was messy, guys. You could hear everyone just like, oh, like it was. 
Guys, it was a moment. It, when I tell you I am determined to win, I literally fell to the ground with the cone in my hand. I thought it was fine. I thought we just like headbutted each other. Like I thought it was chill. I thought nobody was really hurt. I didn't feel anything. Like, uh, like I was like, I was, I mean, I, I knocked, I fell on the floor, like full force just bang. Obviously I was a little shook. So I lift my head up and I'm like, I still got it. And then I hear in the background, Nara's crying and she's just, she runs out of the gym. And I was like, did I do that? Soon as I lift my head, guys, blood just starts pouring down my damn face. I had a white sweater on. My shirt was covered in blood. There was a puddle around my head of blood. I was literally dripping like it was so freaking bad i don't remember who it was i think it was ozzy ozzy saw me and he was like he asked me if i was okay he screamed from the gym from the other side of the gym he screamed at me he's like tomorrow are you okay i looked up and i was like yeah and then that's when the blood just starts dripping and he's like oh shit <laughs> everyone just looking at me like i'm like what like and then the blood starts dripping and I feel it, I go like this girl's, I start screaming, like screaming. I literally was like, help me, help me. I was so dizzy. Everyone was just being little pussies. First of all, if you were in that class and you didn't come help me or check on me, you guys are fake as hell. And I remember all y'all faces, so don't even try to act like everything is shit and giggles. Shit is not sweet. You can get it on site. So. The gym teacher, instead of coming to help me and check out if I was okay, he starts yelling at me. He starts yelling at me for crashing into her. For real right now, you have an eighth grader with a gash in her forehead and you're yelling at her because she didn't play the game right. I told y'all I was not athletic. That's on you. So I finally get the strength to get up. Two sweethearts, Shannon, Shannon Milanazzo, if you, are watching this i love you you know that and naomi naomi is my best friend to this till this day and that really stuck with me they're the only two people that actually helped me up and brought me to the nurse's office <laughs> as i'm leaving the gym there's like this little fifth grader looking at me mortified looking at me like is she good like uh, imagine imagine just walking through the hallways, going to the bathroom and seeing someone covered in blood. Explain to me what you would have done. Shannon and Naomi are bringing me to the nurse's office like I'm crying. My arms around them like this because I can barely walk. I'm losing so much blood at this point that I can barely see straight. Blood is just down my face. Like I go to the nurse's office and she's like, oh my God, what happened? She's already taken care of Nara. Nara's over there crying like, Poor girl, I think I like dislocated her. I think I like dislocated her jaw. I uh, took like a chip out of her tooth. Like, Nara, I'm so sorry. That shit, I'm sorry, but that shit's funny now when you look back on it. Now you have stories to tell. Then there, she has my head like with gauze or whatever. And then I'm just like, then principal comes in, tries to find out like what happened, what happened. Obviously mad nosy, like I'm half awake and you are trying to ask me questions about what happened. Like for real, you couldn't have just waited just like, like this, this entire time. I'm sweating, like, oh, it was just not cute, guys. It was not a cute look. Have you ever lost blood and you know that feeling or like when blood just drains out of your face or like you just feel like you don't have blood in you? That was me, but I literally didn't have blood in me. Like blood was literally gushing from my head. This is the scar. Let me see if you guys can see it. Can you see that? That is a scar from, it starts from, I can't even see where it starts from. It healed pretty well. People, some people can't even tell that it's there, but people still see it and they ask me about it and it's really irritating. So it starts from like right here to like right there. It, yeah. A lot of people don't even notice that I have this scar, but I do. So I'm in the nurse's office waiting for my mom to get there. She, she saw the blood on my shirt. She was like, oh my God, are you okay? Just like that. Like my mom, my mom is a person that doesn't freak out. She's just like, oh my God. Helps me to the car. If my mom has pictures of me in the hospital, then I'll insert them. Left school. Um, they asked me if I wanted an ambulance. I was like, 
an ambulance? Psst. You gonna pay for my ambulance bill? My mom bringing me to the car, she was like, she basically was like, good looks, good looks. Like, we weren't about to pay that ambulance. Sorry, y'all, Naomi actually was just calling me. She's coming over in a few, so yeah. But yeah, you guys know ambulances are not cheap. You think I'm about to freaking have my mom pay for an ambulance? And if you know me, I'm in an ambulance a lot. So if she was already on her way to bring me to the hospital, there was no need for no ambulance. There was no need for no ambulance, okay? Brings me to the emergency room. That was pretty much it, you know? I went, I got to get eight stitches, guys. Eight stitches, not one, not two, not six, not seven, eight. Eight stitches. And that was the first time in my life that I've ever had to get stitches, guys. If you've ever gotten stitches, you know that they have to numb you. Guys, a numbing needle is literally like this big and they have to put it in the wound, not around the wound, no. They have to put it around it and inside the mother wound. But yeah, I had to get eight stitches. I had a concussion. I couldn't go to school for like a week or two. Um, was not allowed to watch TV, but I still did anyways. I was making vines too at the time. I thought it was mad funny. Guys, I was so crusty in eighth grade. It was actually painful. That's pretty much the story of the time I cut my forehead open in gym class. If you guys like this video, give a thumbs up. Comment down below if you were in my class and you remember this. Comment below what you remember, like your experience. I would love to see that. That's so freaking funny to me. Everyone thinks it's so funny now. They bring it up to me like, hey, do I remember when you sliced your head open in middle school? I'm just like, <laughs> yes, bitch. Of course I remember and I have the fucking scar to remind me every day of my life. If you found this video funny or anything, share with your friends, give a like. Spanish word of the day is, drum roll please. Sangre. Sangre, say it with me now. Sangre, sangre, sangre. Blood. A lot of sangre was coming out my damn forehead. And I'm all over my damn sweater and all over the damn flow. Sangre. Love you guys, have a great day, bye. Hey, 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 hey,